Look. Hey guys, good morning. It's Sunday morning. We're getting ready to go to church. We are in the car, ready to go. So what you guys just watched, it was the, youth, the annual youth convention for our district. It was awesome. It was a good, uh, good time. The youth really enjoyed it. Had an awesome move of God. It was, it was a great time. It was awesome. I loved it. It was a good sermon too. Uh, Brother Robert Leboy was, uh, was on point. It was on point. It was an excellent ser sermon. Excuse me. So yeah, now we're going to church. And I know you guys have been watching. And you're like, why is this titled "What's in the Bag"? So Mario. After so today's service. You'll see exactly what it means. No, I'm just kidding. I'll let you know now. So, what's in the bag means I'm going to show you guys what it is that I carry in my bag when I go to church, when I go to different services. Um, I'll explain, like, different services. I have a different setup in the bag. Carrying the same bag, I just take some things out to leave some things in. I'll show you guys um, that after the service. Can you guys please stop kicking? I'll show you guys what's in that in my bag after the service. So, stay tuned for that. And also, also show you a little bit of uh, today's Sunday service since it's been a while. So uh, yeah, you guys can check that out right now. Into it. So got the bag. Let's start with item number one. Item number one, absolutely cannot leave my house to any type of service, anything that I have to do, set up sound, whatever, without my in -ears. So, in my little Pelican 1040 case, is my wired in-ear pack that I use. Let's see if it will focus, there you go. Oh, oh, right there. It's a Behringer P2 combo jack on the bottom. It's a combo jack. And on and off, there you go, you got it. Turn it on, turn it off, that's where you put your in-ear, um, that's where you plug in your in-ears. Very simple. Oh, it also has let me show you. I almost dropped it. It has, see if you can see it, if it'll focus right there. Stereo mono switch. Depending on the signal you get, this will get you what you need. And obviously, my in ears. These are some KZs. You can get these on Amazon. KZ, I don't know, ZS10 or KZ something. The KZs work great. Foam tips always can't get the good isolation without them, but I definitely would like to get an upgrade for them. But that's besides the point. In ears, that's what we're talking about. My in ears, and then I use rechargeable batteries. I don't think it's gonna focus. Rechargeable batteries. Which, as you can see, I don't have them in right now because I forgot to charge them. So I'm using a couple normal, regular alkaline batteries for backup. Next, next we have how I get my sound for my YouTube videos. And all that jazz. And I have these quick uh, sidebar, the little plastic um, things. They've been... a uh, Awesome for organization. I just put a little blue uh, gaff tape on it, mark them in ear, miscellaneous, and recording stuff. Have it all right here. In here, I have, if I can get this little thing out of the way, the iRig 2. That's what I use to get my sound to an iPhone. I don't have an iPhone as my personal phone, but I have an iPhone to do that. So, in there I have a cable that is XLR to TRS quarter inch just in case you never know the type of plug I'm going to get to go into my in-ears. I also have a couple of these extension 
headphone extension cables with an adapter on it. I have two of those in here. One's longer than the other. Obviously, you need the dongle for the iPhone, definitely. And I have some headphone splitters. So what I do is I go from my in-ears, my in-ears, I plug them into here. Then I have a quarter inch TRS two headphone jack, whatever this is, 3.5 I think, millimeter. This goes into one of these, and then my headphones go into the other, so obviously I can hear my mix. This end goes into my headphone amp, and then this end goes right there. I have two of these headphone splitters as a backup, just in case. All right, so next we have chargers. Boom. So in here I have two Apple chargers. Two Apple chargers with an aftermarket cable. Two Apple chargers. One here, extra long for the iPhone that I used to get my sound. And then I have a Lenovo USB-C laptop charger as my backup for my iPad that I use for my keyboard rig. Um, it's currently being used right now. But it's just a USB-C charger for a laptop. It's big. You guys know what that is. But yeah, again, these packs, clutch. All right. Then I have USB-C stuff. All right. So here's my USB-C stuff. I got USB, if you look right there, that USB extension goes into, all right, I'll open it up. USB extension from there to there. All right, and then I have three USB Bs, all right? Or USB MIDI cables or whatever you want to call them. I have three of those, and then I have my, da -da -da, my anchor hub, which has a lot of different, see, power distribution, SD card, mini micro SD card, HDMI, two USBs, I'm sure you guys have seen this before, and another charging port. There it is. Let's see if I can find it again. Okay, and we're back. So, I have a miscellaneous bag. So in this bag, I carry my odd cables, my not your normal cables. So, I have a Y cable, so it's two TS mono to XLR. I don't remember why I have this. There was a reason behind it, and I think it had to do with an analog mixer, but I don't remember. But it's in here. You never know. Also, this one I use a lot because a lot of the places that I go to, I only get one channel, not two channels be able to play or I'm going into a keyboard amp so I have dual XLR to single TRS so it is a stereo cable all right it's I love this thing it works great leave that there and I have a bag for my vlogging stuff which I'm kind of using some right now and this is just got some velcros in there and I got a like phone mount in here You'll probably see it yep one mile and then I just labeled it vlog content creation next in the miscellaneous bag you guys saw a battery so that battery is for this puppy active di so this is the Behringer this is the Behringer ultra di di 20 it's a two channel di which I can which I can use as two separate di's so I'll have like a guitar and a bass here or whatever or the way I use it is a stereo DI out. So I use channel one and channel two for left and right on my keyboard, and then in, in, and then out the top. Works like a charm, has an attenuation button, so it can attenuation button to kill some DBs. If you guys go on my channel, you guys can see a short that I did explaining the entire thing. Love it, it's awesome. Oh, this is funny. I use this for travel. This is in here because I've, use this bag to travel to 
places and play and whatever. Well, because you never know. Just a little solar charging power bank from Amazon. Works great, love it. And I've had it in here for a while and it still has charge. I've had this in here, I wanna say two, maybe three years. And this thing has had charge for that long. I can't remember the last time I put this thing to charge and it still has juice. Now that I see that it has only one bar left, I should probably put it to charge. So leaving this out. Thanks for the reminder, YouTube. What else? What else? What else? What else? All right. I think that's it, guys. The rest is just random trash that I have to get to and throw out. Oh my goodness. This is probably one of the best items that I have in my bag because I can use it to mount camera. I can use it to mount a phone. I can use it to mount anything that I need. Like literally, and this will hold the weight of anything. I love this thing. Heard about this on YouTube from uh, Daniel Bernard. And I don't know why I only have one. I need to get more. There it is. All right. So this is the small rig phone, camera, whatever mount slash clamp. So I'll clamp this end onto a phone microphone stand or anywhere that can, it can grip onto to get a camera angle or whatever need else need I might have. And then the, I'll put the mount on there. See, do I have a phone mount? Or... All right, phone mount. Goes on there, see? And then bam, easy peasy. Love this thing, can't go anywhere without it. All right, so that's it. That's everything I carry in my bag. Uh, sometimes I'll throw in like an XLR cable in there or a, a, what do you call it, a TRS cable in there in case I need it for something, maybe for an in-ear connection or whatever. I try to also keep like um, first aid in there. You never know, maybe a snack or water, obviously. Um, yeah, extra things that I might need, like any extra cables or any of the stuff you see there might be there times two. I try not to put too much on there because if I'm going out to do something, like if it's for sound, it might be a little more full. If it's just to play, it might be less because I either might not have to carry a keyboard because they have one there or I'll have my own keyboard. So yeah, that is pretty much it for what I carry in my bag. If you guys any, have any questions about it, you can have a, uh, leave a comment down below. I'll be there to answer any questions you might have. All right guys, so change of scenery. My battery died, so I have to go get one because they were upstairs. I didn't realize the thing was blinking when I was talking, so yeah. That's it, if you guys liked anything from the video or you've seen anything gear-wise and you would like to have any questions about or anything like that, leave a comment down below. I'll be there to help you guys out. Like I said before, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good YouTube stuff, you know how it works. Don't forget to do all that stuff. It really helps the channel out. Stay safe. God bless y'all. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.